I guess I just did. But so. Welcome back, Greg Rumpf and Gary Venato along with you. And you said very excitedly, <laughs> got a road win. Got a road win, man. That's what it's all about. I'll tell you what, uh, I was really proud of the girls' effort and what they did. How they did. We only had four turnovers in the second half. We only had four, and, uh, you know, our, our bench came off. Uh, off well, the, a team came off the bench. And well, they usually do job. come off the bench. Yeah, they do. But our, our subs came off and did an unbelievable job. You know, we had six girls in double figures. I can't think of the last time, Greg, you know, you've been, I've been doing this a long time at Trevecca, and I can't think of the last time we had six in double figures, but it was great to see. It was nice to see uh, Sarah Raby back like she's uh, used to playing. I thought Helen Mitchell played her best game of the year tonight, and then Brianna McDonald just coming off the bench more and more and more and more. And what can you say about uh, Morgan Long? Oh, yeah. Great baskets in there when we needed them. Everybody who came in and played off the bench did a great job tonight. I was really proud of them, too. Uh, in the second half, I mean, you guys are up by 12. They come all the way back and finally get the lead. And they played well, I thought, and uh, and really uh, did some good stuff. It wasn't like you guys gave it to them. They just came out and were, and were aggressive, got the lead. Talk about what – Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Talk about – what you were thinking and what you did to get back and get the lead and then secure the win. Well, I told the girls at halftime, they're at home. They'd already made one run. We just got to make sure if they make another run, we got to control it. And I thought that's what we did. You know, they got that two-point lead. But I said, let's don't make it three. Let's don't make it four. Uh, you know, we got to the point where we just swapping baskets there back and forth for a while. And I think that helped our confidence. So when they took that lead, it wasn't like we didn't, uh, we didn't think we could score the next time out. And, and we did. And, uh, and then once we got things going, uh, it was just a matter of like just snowballed, and then we hit, hit enough free throws down the stretch to win the game. All right, let's take a look at a couple of highlights here, and then we'll let you get in with your team, go get something to eat. Uh, and I'll let you just comment as you, what you see here. Well, we got a power run, pick and roll there. Uh, we just turned the ball all the way over to uh, Helen, who hits her first three of the game right there. It's a, it's a big three. You guys get the rebound, or you get the uh, fast break running down here. We trail the ball to, to Britt, or to Sarah, I guess. Throw the ball inside to, to Sarah, and a great post move. That, that looked was a like big Sarah. Basket for yeah. us right there. It really was. And there's Britt putting one up. Big offensive rebound by Haley right there. And I'll tell you what, and then the, the free ball by Paige, that was another big one, too. Um, that was a big, big play. See, that really was. You know, our, uh, down the stretch, our seniors really came up. You know, Haley didn't get the scores, Colin, but what she does defensively and the little things that she does makes all the difference in the world. That was another great pass right there on the drive uh, for Britt. Uh, and then Sarah, like I said, out of the short corner over there. So I think it was her second basket in a row right there. Yeah, it was. The kick out to Brianna McDonald, who yeah. I thought really gave you something off the bench. She really did, especially there in the, the first, first half when yeah. we needed it. Yeah, no Absolutely. question about it. Well, Cedarville on Saturday doesn't get any easier. That's a pretty good team you're going to play on Saturday. Yeah, I think so. I think I think that's down the stretch here. We played. Uh, just think about how we started after Christmas. Arsline, you got Kentucky Wesleyan. Now you play Central State. Now you go to Cedarville. I, I, I can't imagine a much tougher stretch than that in our conference. So, especially on the road, because all those games are on the road except for Arsline games. So. I'm going to be anxious tonight to see how the uh, the Wesleyan Bowl game went. And then, um, like I said, we're, I told the girls in there at the end of the game, now you can start focusing on Cedarville. Absolutely. And that will be on Saturday, and Cedarville will have those broadcasts for everybody to watch uh, via their website. He's Gary Van Ad. I'm Greg Gruff. We'll see you in just a little bit for the Benz game right here on the Trojan Sports Network. 